hello friends welcome you in kk java tutorials uh, this video is all about to check if two strings are in anagrams or not in java so just to save some time uh, i have already written the code and i am going to explain it but uh, before explaining the code let's try to understand what is uh, basically anagrams right so uh, write a java program to find whether the given strings are anagrams or not is a frequently asked questions uh, these days so when we talk about the how we can say two strings are anagrams or not we can say that two strings are called anagrams if uh, you can rearrange uh, letters of one string to produce the second string one string to produce the second string usually all the letters of the first string only once while doing that usually we don't consider spaces and punctuation punctuation marks so here if i take an, an example of restful and uh, fluster so if you arrange letters of uh, restful then then you, we are able to produce the second string is called fluster right so here if you look into the uh, in restful first letter is r so here you can say r is there and e is there in the fluster similarly s if you see s is there u is there f is there again u is there and l is there right so if you arrange letters of first string and you are able to produce the second string then two strings are basically a uh, two strings are basically anagrams and that's the definition of basically anagrams but uh, if you think about these two strings if you rearrange the first string you are not able to produce the second string right so these two are not a uh, anagram if you talk about the third string like uh, 45 uh, or over 45 so of course if you rearrange this letter then we are able to produce the second letter and third string a uh, uh, third combination is also a uh, anagrams now let's try to understand how we can basically write a program which will uh, basically tell us whether two strings are anagrams or not right so here i have written the method is called is anagram by sorting logic right and uh, we are calling this method yeah so we have an input string one and input string two now we have a one utility method which basically supports us to convert uh, input string in the lower case and that will remove the spaces as well so let's have a look into this private method so here uh, i'm passing the input string and uh, i'm calling to a lowercase method so that i can convert a string into the lowercase and finally i'm calling the replace all method and there i'm passing a regular expression so backward slash twice and is this means we are trying to remove the, all the spaces from the existing from the input string and that's that's what uh, we we have a remove all method and there we are passing uh, basically this regular expression yeah now uh, basically this method we are calling uh, for these two input strings so that we will convert all the letters uh, of this uh, input string into a lower case and we will be able to remove the spaces as well and we got the string s1 and s2 right now uh, just we have declared one flag which is initialized with the true value now uh, length of s1 and s2 basically that is our uh, basically input a string after converting to the lowercase and removal of spaces so if length of these two strings is not equal in that case this flag is we are going to reinitialize with the false value right and after that if both strings have the same length then sort the strings so now s1 and s2 so we are uh, on these two input string we are calling the sort input string method right and look you can look how you can look at this method this method basically what does this method basically converts this input input string into the uh, array character of array right and uh, finally we are passing this character of array to the short method arrays dot sort that's our utility methods from the jdk itself so basically uh, this method basically will sort this array of a string right and finally we are just making a string by passing this array of a string sorted array of a string and that basically returns to the caller so now s1 s2 uh, 
is in the sorted format. Now here we are comparing S1 and S2. If both are not equal, then this flag is going to return us false. And this flag, flag basically we are passing to the is string anagram method. So is string anagram method. If this flag comes as is true, right? Then control will go to this block and saying that input string one and input string two are anagrams. If this flag comes with the false statement, then this is going to print us uh, input string one and input string two are not anagrams. So I hope you understood. So let's run this program with these three. Uh, uh inputs right and let's see what output we get cool so here you can see uh first uh string of combination saying that these uh restful and uh fluster is uh, anagrams right now second combination say that not anagrams and third combination combination is saying that anagrams right so our logic is working perfectly fine so I have tested this logic for the only uh, three inputs, but you may test this logic for the more inputs. Uh, as far as uh, the source code concern, I have posted this source code on my uh, blog kkjavatutorials.com and uh, this uh, link I am going to specify in the video description part itself. So you can get uh, uh, this link from the video description and if you would like to understand and all the theories as well as source code I have given over here so you can take source code from here you can do some kind of r d if you would like to modify something and see how this logic is gonna work and um, of course you can provide the comments here as well right so that's all i have in this video tutorial and one more thing i would like to share with you so what i have shown you over here uh, logic to determine if two strings are enagrams or not so i have i have i have shown you only one lo logic but if you you look at here i have written the two different logic to determine how how we can check whether two strings are anagrams or not so one approach i have already explained in the video and there is also a second approach which basically uh which basically tells you to how we can determine two strings are anagram or not using uh, basically iteration logic and that is another method you can see over here so you try to understand this logic yourself if still you have any doubts then uh, please let me know through the comments so guys that's all i have in this video tutorial guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial